This video is proudly sponsored by Spider Pharma, one of the leading names in grow lights and tents. If you're serious about healthy plants and bigger harvests, Spider Pharma has the gear you need. Check out their full range through the link in the description. And don't forget to use our discount code BUDFELLAS at checkout for 8% off your order. Big thanks to Spider Pharma for supporting BUDFELLAS and plant education. Welcome back, legends, to another episode of Bud Fellas. Today, we're exploring one of the most common and most confusing questions in the cannabis world. Why are my cannabis leaves turning yellow? Whether you're seeing pale tips, blotchy patterns, or full yellow leaves, it's not random. Your plant is trying to communicate. In this episode, we'll decode every possible reason behind yellow leaves from light stress and nutrition issues to natural ageing, so you can understand exactly what's going on. This channel is for viewers over 18, and our content is purely educational. We're not here to promote or encourage illegal activity. In the UK, cannabis cultivation remains illegal without a licence. What we are doing is learning plant science and helping beginners avoid common mistakes. Yellowing leaves, or chlorosis, happen when the green pigment called chlorophyll starts breaking down. Chlorophyll allows plants to absorb light and convert it into energy through photosynthesis. When a leaf turns yellow, chlorophyll production slows, and that can happen for many reasons. Environmental stress, nutrition imbalances, or simply aging. The key is knowing where and how it's yellowing, because that's the clue to what's happening inside. Light is life for cannabis, but too much of it can bleach the leaves. When the upper canopy gets too close to a strong light source, it causes photooxidative stress, similar to a sunburn. This appears as pale or white-yellow patches on top leaves, sometimes with crisp edges. In contrast, light deprivation causes lower leaves to fade because they aren't receiving enough energy. Both are forms of stress that often appear during fast growth. Water transports nutrients, minerals, and oxygen. When watering isn't balanced, yellowing is one of the first signs. Overwatering drowns the roots, trapping them in oxygen poor conditions, causing limp, pale yellow leaves. Underwatering causes dehydration, leaves curl, dry, and fade to yellow or brown. Yellow leaves combined with drooping often mean the roots can't breathe or drink. Cannabis requires macro and micronutrients to stay healthy. When one is missing, chlorophyll production slows and leaves turn yellow. Nitrogen deficiency causes yellowing from the bottom up. Magnesium deficiency causes intervenal chlorosis, yellowing between green veins. Iron deficiency affects new leaves first, making them pale yellow. Calcium or zinc shortages twist or crinkle new growth. Sulphur deficiency fades the entire plant evenly to light yellow-green. Sometimes the plant has nutrients but can't absorb them, known as nutrient lockout. This happens when the pH is too high or low, changing mineral availability. It mimics deficiency symptoms but comes from imbalance, not shortage. Adding more nutrients won't help. Absorption is the issue. Roots are the plant's foundation. If they're unhealthy, yellow leaves appear quickly. Root rot from excess moisture or poor drainage leads to dark, slimy roots and yellowing foliage. Pests like fungus gnats or nematodes can also damage root hairs. Once the roots weaken, yellowing spreads from the bottom upward. Temperature and humidity impact leaf color. High heat causes dehydration and fading while cold slows metabolism and nutrient absorption. Low humidity dries leaves, high humidity encourages mold and stress. Even poor air circulation can trap heat and CO, leading to yellowing from environmental imbalance. When yellowing comes with tiny dots or webbing, pests are often the cause. Spider mites, thrips and aphids feed on leaf sap, leaving stippled yellow marks. Fungal diseases like powdery mildew can also trigger irregular yellow patterns. 
Yellowing with spots or stickiness often points to pest or pathogen stress. Not every yellow leaf is bad. As cannabis plants mature, older leaves naturally yellow and drop, a process called senescence. The plant reuses stored nutrients from old leaves to support new growth. If the rest of the plant is healthy, this is simply nature's cycle. To diagnose yellowing, observe patterns carefully. Ask, is it starting at the top or bottom? Are the veins green or faded? Are the leaves crisp or droopy? Have conditions changed recently? These clues reveal whether it's environmental, nutritional or biological. Yellow cannabis leaves are your plant's way of communicating. Each shade of yellow tells a story, from light burn to natural ageing. Understanding those signals helps growers make informed, calm decisions. Remember, observation and knowledge are always stronger than panic. The most effective way to prevent yellow leaves is to observe your plants regularly and learn their natural rhythm. Every plant has a growth pattern. How quickly new leaves appear, how long they stay vibrant, and when they begin to fade naturally. Early observation helps you catch subtle colour changes before they turn into major issues. A pale green leaf isn't yet a problem. It's a signal. By noticing these small shifts, you can act with knowledge rather than panic. Light is one of the biggest factors behind yellowing. Too much intensity causes bleaching, while too little causes fading. To prevent this, understand that light balance is about distribution, not just brightness. Avoid placing the plant too close to a strong light source and ensure all sides of the plant receive consistent illumination. If shadows form deep in the canopy, consider adjusting angles or spacing to ensure even coverage. Consistent moderate exposure prevents stress and keeps the leaves chlorophyll stable. Watering is one of the most misunderstood causes of leaf yellowing. The key is to maintain consistent hydration cycles. Roots thrive when they experience both moisture and airflow, never staying drenched for too long nor drying out completely. Think of it like breathing. Roots need oxygen between water cycles. To prevent stress, allow the root zone to stay comfortably moist and airy. Consistency keeps nutrient transport smooth and prevents both over- and underwatering stress. Nutrients are the building blocks of life, but imbalance can trigger yellowing fast. Preventing nutrient issues begins with understanding proportion. A balanced diet ensures no single nutrient dominates or blocks others. Educational sources recommend using plant-specific feeding data to learn what each stage generally needs, but always within the limits of safe, responsible, and legal research. Observation of leaf tone and growth rate is the most natural way to sense when a plant is balanced. Deep green with no blotches means all systems are in sync. Nutrient lockout is like the silent saboteur. Everything seems fine, but nothing is being absorbed. Prevention begins with understanding the importance of balance in the root environment. When pH shifts too high or low, Nutrients can't enter the roots effectively. The best prevention is awareness, maintaining balance through education and careful observation of your medium's health. Recognise early symptoms like slowed growth or dulling leaves. These appear before yellowing does. A balanced root system means nutrients stay available and leaves stay lush. Healthy roots equal healthy leaves. Preventing yellowing starts below the surface. Roots thrive when they have access to oxygen, moderate moisture and a clean environment. Educational materials often stress avoiding conditions that cause water stagnation, compaction or fungal buildup. Visually, roots should appear white and firm, a clear sign of good health. By maintaining cleanliness and avoiding oversaturation, root systems stay active, supporting green vibrant foliage. Environmental consistency prevents yellowing more effectively than any single input. Sudden changes in temperature or humidity shock the plant's internal systems. Educational studies show that plants maintain healthy chlorophyll only when kept within stable temperature ranges. 
avoid large fluctuations, especially extremes, as they stress both the leaves and the roots. Balanced air movement also keeps energy flowing evenly throughout the canopy. Prevention is always easier than recovery. The best defence against pests and pathogens is maintaining a clean, monitored environment. Checking leaf undersides and stems regularly allows early detection before damage spreads. Understanding the visual signs of early stress, such as faint yellow specks or irregular spotting, can help identify issues before they escalate. Healthy, balanced plants are naturally more resistant to invaders. As plants age, it's natural for some lower leaves to yellow and drop. The key to prevention is recognising the difference between healthy ageing and stress. Natural senescence happens slowly and selectively. Older leaves fade while new ones remain strong. Rapid or widespread yellowing indicates imbalance. Accepting some yellowing as part of the natural life cycle allows you to focus on maintaining overall plant vitality rather than chasing perfection. Prevention isn't about constant adjustment. It's about consistency and calm awareness. Develop a habit of checking the same indicators each time, leaf colour, firmness and the feel of the growing environment. Small changes caught early prevent large problems later. It's this observational mindset that turns good plant caretakers into great ones. In the world of plant education, prevention always begins with patience. Yellowing leaves are rarely sudden. They develop through a series of signals. By understanding light balance, nutrient harmony and environmental consistency, you create a system that stays healthy naturally. Remember, green leaves aren't just a colour. They're a reflection of balance, stability and calm observation. Stay consistent, stay curious and your plants will thank you with vitality. Thanks for tuning in, legends. If you found this episode helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and share the knowledge with another grower legend. Until next time, keep learning, keep observing and keep it bud fellas.